Our mission is to protect and preserve Orange County's marine habitat and watershed through education, restoration, and enforcement. 60 to 100 million gallons of urban runoff flows into our waters every day during the dry season alone. Runoff comes from all of us, including overwatering, car washing, washing down driveways, construction sites, leaking pipes, and industry. Stormwater runoff is the water that flows through the storm drain system, a vast network of channels and pipes that collect toxic runoff from city streets, freeways, neighborhoods, farms, construction sites, and is delivered to our coast every day. Constant fresh water and contaminants will impair or kill saltwater animals and plants. Closed beaches and bays affect our quality of life and commerce. Orange County Coast Keeper is dedicated to finding solutions to stop sources of runoff. Public policy advocacy is an ongoing part of Coast Keeper's mission, from sanitation permits to regulatory permitting. As a last resort, we will collect evidence of a negligent polluter and turn that evidence over to a regulatory agency or will enforce laws using litigation under the Federal Clean Water Act. Orange County's huge watershed covers 3,060 square miles, has 42 miles of coastline, three harbors, over 4 million people combined with four bordering counties that extend inland all the way up to Big Bear Lake. It all drains into our coastal shoreline like a big funnel. Orange County Coast Keeper is equipped with boats and modern navigation equipment for conducting investigations, water monitoring, and for our kelp reforestation project. Coast Keeper is also committed to educating the public through various interactive programs designed to stress the importance of water quality issues. Coast Keeper annually meets with over 30,000 children in Orange County through educational programs and public awareness events. Orange County Coast Keeper is in partnership with the Newport Harbor Nautical Museum and the City of Newport Beach. We help teach fifth graders about Newport's watershed, runoff, and marine life in the bay. We utilize an underwater diver with a live feed underwater camera and a two-way communication system so students watch live and easily interact with the diver about what is being viewed on the TV monitor in the classroom. Our custom-made Orange County Watershed Diorama with running water teaches the community about storm water and dry weather runoff and how all the pollution gets to our coastline. Our custom-made eco-carts are placed in classrooms around Orange County to help teach the students about kelp forest ecology. The carts are used to grow kelp spores and double as a touch tank for public demonstrations. Partnered with the Santa Ana Regional Water Quality Control Board and Southern California Coastal Water Research Project, Orange County Coast Keeper provides manpower, boats, equipment, and volunteers to test 60 sites in Anaheim Bay and Huntington Harbor for one of our citizen water quality monitoring projects. Our volunteers are trained by professionals and are taught the science of proper benthic and surface water sampling. The state pays for the lab work 
and the data will be used to determine TMDL baseline data that will eventually reduce sources of pollution from inland cities that end up at our coastline. The CTD multi-parameter unit takes 30 different samples in just a few short minutes each time it's lowered and raised and then downloaded to a computer. Orange County Coast Keeper heads up the baywide water and sediment sampling in cooperation with the Santa Ana Regional Water Quality Control Board, the City of Newport Beach, and UCI. Water samples are tested for viral and bacterial loads from 12 sites in the harbor and three sites in the Newport Dunes Resort Lagoon. Orange County Coast Keeper heads up the Santa Ana River Citizens Monitoring Program, the largest of its kind, and samples 27 sites in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange Counties. Over 100 volunteers use state-of-the-art equipment and are professionally trained for this three to five year state and Coast Keeper funded project. The program goal is to analyze and identify non-point source pollution in order to stop the pollution before it reaches the ocean and to find solutions to solve any problems. In addition to chemical and bacterial testing, bioassessment will also be a part of this extensive monitoring program. The Orange County Coast Keeper Dive Task Force, made up of volunteers, is called upon to help cities and various agencies in underwater tasks such as bay cleanups or sometimes we help install experimental equipment. We also conducted an intense survey in Newport Bay for Calerpa taxifolia, known as the killer algae, and GIS mapping of eelgrass. With our regional keeper aquaculture lab in San Pedro, Coast Keeper receives cultured kelp spores that are ready to be planted at our kelp reforestation site in Crystal Cove. It takes about three months for the tiny sporophytes to grow to a plant an inch of size on ceramic tiles. Huge kelp forests along the Orange County coastline have all but vanished. Kelp beds provide vital habitats for hundreds of marine animals and plants. The kelp growing on tiles are taken to the site and carefully attached to the reefs with rubber bands. The small outplantings have about a 10% success ratio due to grazing from snails, urchins, and some fish. The tiles are always recovered, sterilized, and then used again. One site, called Wheeler's Reef, is transplanted kelp from Dana Point and is now a great place to dive. There hasn't been giant kelp in this area for over 20 years. Kelp forests are very intricate ecosystems and are a necessity to the health of our marine environment. Scientific data is collected on a weekly basis to monitor the progress of the plants and reef. National Geographic Television documented our kelp reforestation program, which enabled us to obtain a three-year regional grant from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for our kelp program and the other Southern California keepers. Orange County Coast Keeper recently completed an extensive study of marine pump-out stations in all three harbors to determine if these systems are accessible and in working order.
We also monitor many other activities that may cause harm to our marine environment. At Little Corona Beach in Corona del Mar, Coast Keeper is leading agencies to fight head cutting erosion in Buck Gully and the 160,000 gallons per day of polluted urban runoff that ends up on the beach and tidal area. Little Corona is a marine preserve and also one of 34 state designated areas of special biological significance. We partnered a summer diversion project with the City of Newport and agencies that kept over 8 million gallons of runoff from the receiving waters of Little Corona. Orange County Coast Keeper has working relationships with local developers regarding project water quality plans to protect the coast, such as Newport Coast, Treasure Island, Dana Headlands, Huntington Beach Resort and Spa to name a few. We also participate in various state, county, and city outreach programs and partner with other local environmental organizations. Thank you for your interest and please help support Orange County Coastkeepers Mission for coastal water quality.